My wife is a petite girl who's had five babies naturally without any pain medication or epidural. The largest was our son who weighed in at 10 pounds, most of which was head. All these years she's made the point that a man could never know the kind of pain that a woman experiences during childbirth. She assured me that none of my sprains, strains, broken bones, or stitches came even close. Several years ago I had a kidney stone attack and ended up passing eight stones. People who know say that the passing of a stone is equivalent to the pain of bearing a child. When I told my grown children this, they said that I should have given each stone a name, and now they even call me Octodad. For some reason, my wife, Renee, still refuses to acknowledge that I know what kind of pain that she has been through delivering our children. Kidneys are vital organs, meaning you can't live without them. They are located just below the diaphragm, or about the size of your fist, and each has about a million teeny little filtration units that are called nephrons. They serve a number of essential functions in the body. They keep the blood clean by filtering out and expelling waste into the urinary system. The kidneys help uh, chemically balance the body by regulating the electrolytes, fluid volume, and maintaining your acid-base balance. They produce hormones that help the body utilize oxygen more effectively. They stimulate the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow and they help in absorbing calcium and phosphorus. Now each day the healthy kidneys filter 30 to 40 gallons of blood producing between one and two quarts of urine. A person can potentially lose a majority of their nephrons before they notice any problems. There are a number of acute and chronic conditions that can affect their function, but the two major and most common causes are of kidney disease are high blood pressure and diabetes. Two men were comparing their health problems while waiting to see their kidney specialist one day. One said to the other, just when I learned to take things with a grain of salt, the doctor puts me on a salt-free diet. Now, what are some of the th things besides controlling your weight, cholesterol, and blood pressure that are recommended for healthy kidneys? One step is to replace difficult to digest animal protein with easier to assimilate plant-based proteins. Watch your intake of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Load your daily menu with antioxidant-heavy foods like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, cranberries, garlic, onions, cauliflower, cabbage, red grapes, and cherries. Do I even have to say stop smoking? Now, my best advice is to take care of those kidneys. You may not have a little sister who's willing to give you one of hers.